What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Film Study for Rookies. Today we're going over rookie tight end for the Detroit Lions, Sam Laporta. This dude is a beast of a tight end. Let's break down the film. So pre-snap it looks like the Falcons are giving off man-to-man -man coverage. Bang right there, bang right there. Weak side linebacker is going to pick up Sam. Now Sam's running that drag rod underneath. If he's not careful or doesn't throw that linebacker off balance, weak side linebacker easily could pick it off, incomplete pass, or force Jared to throw somewhere else, which wouldn't be good because Jared's going to look over here first and then come back to Sam. Hopefully he's open, right? So as the play develops, watch what Sam does right away. He creates death between him and that weak side linebacker. Forces the weak side linebacker to take a step back. Take a look at this again. Forces him to take a step back. Now that's huge. The next thing Sam's going to do right here is create width between him and the linebacker. He's going to step out here, as you're going to see. Take a look. Steps out there. Weak side linebacker bites. Then Sam goes, goodbye. Look at the space he just created right there. Woo! Good stuff right there. On this play right here, Lions run the play action. Now take a look at the route that Sam runs, man. A great, great route. Let's break down why. So now let's talk about why I love this play and why I think they called it at the perfect time for Sam. Pre-snap, it looks like man-to-man, -man, though. Could be cover two. Little clouds right there. Bang, bang. Safety's drop back. He's got this zone. Bang. Deep third right there. Though as the play develops, you're going to see man-to-man -man coverage. The next thing to see is Sam takes off right here, right? Bam. In comes the edge guy, Dupree, right there. Also, weak side linebacker. He's also coming in. So now... The Lions are in a little bit of trouble, right? We said linebacker's coming in, edge guy's coming in. Sam doesn't pick him up. This guard right here, he's pulling around here. He's going to pick up the edge guy. They run the play action. He's going to pick up the weak side linebacker right there. Everything's picked up as you're going to see. Now, why do I love this play? Because it was perfectly designed for this right here. The Falcons blitz the linebackers as you're going to see. Sam goes over the top. Bada bing, bada boom. Easy money right there, man. On this play right here, there's a lot to break down call. Let's break down how it happened. Let's talk about the first reason I love this play. Lions figure out the coverage early. Brown's going to go in motion over here. Once he does that, bam, you see the DB's going to follow over here. That's a pretty good sign. It's man coverage. Bates is going to come down. So now Bates is like, all right, this might be a run. Bates is one hell of a safety. So Bates is going to come down. As the Lions run the play action, there's something to point out right here. Remember, Bates came down originally, told the DB to go pick up Brown over there. Bates comes down basically as run support. Well, Bates is going to pick up Brown on the back end right there. Now, let's say 33 didn't blow his coverage against Sam one-on-one. -on -one. Watch what Sam does right here to potentially get Brown the ball if Sam wasn't wide open. He's going to run a pick route right against Bates. If Sam doesn't run the pick route, Bates can shoot through this gap and easily pick up Brown but watch what Sam does right here. Runs that pick route, creates separation right there. So now Jared has two options. He has a little post corner bang bang right there, or he can check it down and hit Brown and see what Brown can do one-on-one, -on -one, right? Great stuff by Sam, man. Let's go to the next play. This play right here, this is what every QB wants, right? He wants a security blanket. If we take a look at this play again, my thoughts are Jared thought this might be cover two. Now, why do I say that? Well, as you're gonna see, the first place he's gonna look is over here, right? Take a look. Gets the ball, bam, looks over here. All right, it's not cover two, it's man to man. Now, if it was cover two, you're going to see Sam would have taken this linebacker down. This receiver's going to go bang, bang, up. Creates a high low read for that linebacker right there. Does he drop down or does he go over the top and pick up the receiver? Sees it's man to man. As you're going to see, Sam does a great job creating depth with that linebacker, right? Forces him to go back this way. He's going to run into the Lions player for a second. Not really run into him, but have to slow his roll a little bit, right? Bam. Sam turns that corner. Great stuff once again, man. He's so good at creating that death. Whoop! Look at that. He knows exactly what he's doing. Leads the linebacker right into him. He slows down a little bit. Sam turns around. Whoo! Good stuff right there, man. Just like on our previous play, the Lions send Brown in motion. Jared sees man-to-man -man coverage and hits his guy once again. Look at that, man. Look at this man go all the way down to the 24-23 yard line. Let's run it back. Like I said before, it looks like man-to-man -man coverage pre-snap, especially with the DB following Brown over here. The next thing to watch is this DB right here is really going to give Sam inside release. He knows he has safety up over the top. This safety is going to come down right here and really play robber right there. You got your single high safety up here. Now watch how Sam sells this. Breaks the inside release. Take a look right there. Breaks that like it's nothing, man. Now the DB's trailing him. So now Sam has a DB coming down here and a DB behind him. He has to be careful how he sells this. If he goes too early, it makes it too obvious, bam, jumped underneath or jumped on top, right? 
that's what he's worried about. So watch what he does right here. Acts like he's selling vertical. Boom, boom, boom. And look at that timing. Jared's ready to throw it right there, man. A little behind him. A little behind him, but he has those hands. Look at that. It's a little behind him, right? Look at those hands. Just goes out and grabs that thing. Woo! On top of that, look what he did to the safety who came down, right? The safety who comes down has no idea that Sam's about to go, whoop, goodbye, right? He had no idea. He actually starts to go back up this way. Great job by Sam right here, man. Good throw, a little behind him, but overall not bad. From the 45 to the 40, 35, 30, 25. Whew. Man, he's a beast. Let's keep it going. On this play, man, I think Sam had six on the board, and I think he just got a little greedy. Let me run this back and show you guys what I'm talking about. So now the Lions change it up a little bit. They don't bring Brown in motion. They bring big boy Brock in motion this way. Now the play, honestly, is a perfect play call once again. If you can get Brock to the outside right here, receiver blocks down, Sam goes to the outside, that's six, right? As you're going to see, let the play develop a little bit. They run the screen, lead block right there, Brock. Bam, he goes over there, receiver blocks down this way. That should be six. For whatever reason, Sam decided to take that thing in. If he bounces that out, man... Brock gets ahead. That's six, man. That's six on the board. Oh, he had it. Let's keep this thing going. On this play, Raymond goes in motion, not Brown. You got Sam with a little hitch route. Let's run it back real quick. Once again, another great play call from the Lions. Let's talk about why. The first thing I notice is Raymond going in motion. Nobody's really going to panic to get over there. That tells me, hey, he's not worried. He has this whole third zone, right? So it could be cover two, could be cover three. The next thing to look at is the stack formation over here which we're going to get back to in a second. Now I want to talk about how the Packers are lined up. They brought this safety down here, which tells me he's probably playing a zone right here. They're going to blitz this DB. So you have the safety in the zone right here. Then you have your two linebackers right here. Bang and bang. As we go back to the stack formation, watch what happens as this play develops. Bam, this DB starts to bail already. Take a look. He's already bailing. So now this linebacker has to cover the outside zone. So he's going to take the outside guy right there. Inside is going to be open a little hitch route right there. On top of that, this hitch right here, man, really Jared could hit either one. Take a look at that. This linebacker goes over here. This is open. Sam's open. I mean, another great play call. Let's keep it going. All right, right here is going to be our last play. One of my favorite plays from really Jared and Sam, man. Great connection. Let's break down why. So when I originally did this play, I really wanted to focus on these two guys right here. But I didn't look at Jared's first read, and that was over here. Jared was hoping that right here was going to be a cover two. So this DB basically played the cloud flat right here. Receiver runs past him and he finds the hole right there. Take a look right here. Jared's going to get as you're going to see. The DB tries to bait Jared, but he gives away his tail too soon. Jared's about to throw it. He's about to throw it, but he gives away his tail too soon. So why didn't I catch that at the beginning? Well, right here, Lions go streak and then basically a double stick, right? Bang, bang. Now, Brock's going to be open as you're going to see. So I'm like, all right, why didn't Jared hit him? And I kept looking. I was like, oh, he's looking over here because this DB baited him for a second. Like I said before, gave away his tail too soon. By the time Jared looks back over here, bam, that play's pretty much picked up. Now, watch what Sam does right here. He's got that defender on him. He sees Jared about to go this way. Sam knows that. Bam. Sam goes that way as you're going to see. Woo. Good stuff right there, man. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. More content coming soon. Stay tuned.